Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria. If we're meeting for the first time, welcome. And for those of you guys that are old friends and family to my YouTube channel, welcome back. So as you guys can tell, the topic of today's video is a little different than what it is that I normally do. And I'm sure you know that by now because I am big time all about astrological predictions and intuitive visions, those things that which I share with you very often on my YouTube channel with a sprinkling of pick a card readings here and there every once in a while. So shout out to my friend Tasha for encouraging me to explore the realms of pick a card readings a little further and she was actually the inspiration of this message today. So thank you Tasha for your wonderful contributions and also thank you for your friendship. So the topic of today's pick a card reading is actually what are their feelings towards you? What are their feelings towards you? Keep in mind, this is very specific messages for a general audience, so definitely take extra time when it comes to picking the card pile or the card message that is going to relate the closest to your situation. Do not rush this, do not force this. I'm really big on authenticity and integrity, and in situations like this when it comes to relationships, I'm very, very particular. So I'm going to do my best to relay what it is that I'm seeing and allow my intuition to unfold as it always does and give you a prediction and visions and intuition that I know that you can count on. So go ahead and that. feel free to pause the video and take your time in picking out the message that you feel drawn to the most and I will meet you at your timestamp. chose pile number one this is going to be your reading i didn't say this in the beginning of the intro of this video but i have been using the zombie tarot believe it or not to do love or relationship readings not just romantic relationships but all types of relationships because this deck has such a wonderful way of showing in my opinion different energies and differences between people and the intentions of what draws us together or what separates us. So that's why I chose this deck. I'm going to take a moment to shuffle. I do have your oracle cards pulled off to the side, but allow me to connect with my intuition as we ask your angels and guides, if you chose this pile, what are their feelings towards you? 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 Angels and guides from the highest lights of the universe, I thank you so much for this moment, for this opportunity now to read for the viewer. Mm. Wow, wow. First things first, if you chose this pile, there's definitely with Page of Swords, the first one just to show up, there's definitely a message here about spying or kind of, I don't know why I want to say re reading between the lines, trying to kind of explore not so much what it is that you're saying, but kind of figuring out in between that. I don't know why it feels like there's cloudiness when it comes to communication between you and them. I don't know if you're having a miscommunication or a disconnection between this person. They're wanting to, their feelings towards you right now is like they're wanting something more to develop here. I do get a strong feeling of doubt or resistance or feeling like if they speak to you, if they reach out to you, they're going to be embarrassed or shamed in some way. They might be holding on to literally hangman here, actually. They might be holding on to feelings that they've been feeling for a minute or an idea that is that they want to share with you about the relationship, the connection, I do get a sense that they are intimidated. I do get a sense that if they're not overwhelmed with 
life, I actually get a strong sense that they're intimidated by the potential of this relationship. There's this feeling of it's not that you're not someone that I value or that I appreciate. I just don't know how to approach this or if I was to approach it, I don't know how to maintain it. So they might actually find themselves looking for excuses or looking for distractions to prevent them from moving towards you or gaining deeper levels of intimacy and connection with you. I don't want to say that I get a sense of disconnection from this relationship as far as like no contact, like you guys aren't talking. It's it, I do feel like there's interest or tiny little conversations, but I am feeling like you may feel that this person wants to say a whole lot more than, than it is that they actually are saying. If this is a long-term relationship, this is someone who there might have been some bumps in the in you guys' relationship lately and this person is in it, in it to try and figure it out but they feel incompetent. They feel like they don't have a solution. They feel like they don't have an answer or a way to draw closer to you but their desire is to do just that. They do want to draw closer to you. If this is someone that you have history with, Or if this is a person that you recently broke up with, I don't know why I'm hearing that too, like a separation. I want to say that this video, right, is about their feelings towards you. I'm actually getting a message that I want to deliver to you on their behalf. I get a strong sense that there's very much heartache and disappointment when it comes to expectations of this relationship and not being able to fulfill a promise to go the distance, to make a commitment, to build a bond, to effectively communicate, articulately communicate. I do get a sense that they're going to look back and look at this situation happening between the two of you guys almost as like a missed opportunity or like looking back and just being like, damn, I don't know why I just feel like, ugh can't can't but and that is something that they can sense now but even the pressure of that feels like even more it's adding even more contributing doubt into how do I reach out to them I feel like I'm gonna fail them this doesn't necessarily need to be an intimate relationship I can see this as a relationship with a mother or a friend where this person has really just cannot do better they just can't do better they can't i don't know the word is perform but it's not that they're performing actually it might be it might be that they're just actually incapable of healthiness or longevity so they try to put on a performance and then you can sense right through that you can read right through that and then you call them out or they as predicted they kind of mess up expectations or disappoint you and then it's like right back to square one and now they're just instead of showing up and wanting to reach out to you or make plans they're almost watching with bated breath like peering through the blinds and seeing what you're up to they could be lurking on your uh, on your socials trying to see what you're doing I don't if you're wanting to know if this person is going to reach out to you, I feel like there's actually a, a pretty big delay, mostly because this person is unsure of themselves and you may have called them out on things that they need to change, That, but they may not necessarily be, be making steps towards that, whether that's something that is in their control or outside of their control. Either way, the outcome is the same, especially with the hangman here. Whatever is being asked of them in this relationship, or this could also be flipped. Like this could literally be how they feel towards you or you feel towards them. I, well, just flip it where it fits. Um, whatever this situation is, they feel like whatever is asked, it just feels like it will fall. Like I, they, there's a clear... declaration of expectations and for whatever reason this person cannot maintain that and cannot fulfill those promises and for that reason they kind of lurk around and wait 
let me ask for a little bit more I just asked in my mind ooh, mm. I just asked in my mind what do you do in this situation dealing with this like what now and seven of cups six of swords ten of swords justice card reverse ace of swords this is about really being very aware of how this situation with this person or with this relationship with this person can drive you crazy, especially when it comes to wanting what you feel like you deserve, knowing that there could be so much more from this relationship, this connection, and still somehow getting the shitty end of the stick, pardon my French. And it's probably in your best interest, Six of Swords, Ten of Swords, to do whatever it takes to bring clarity to you now to cut the, to cut the cord, to cut the tie, and to move forward. This doesn't mean that you need to be completely separated from this person forever because for whatever reason, I want to tell you that I don't know if I necessarily see that. I feel like this is about you cutting expectations of them. This doesn't mean lowering your standards. It just means that you take a break, a break, a pause to get yourself into a space where mentally and emotionally you're not so vulnerable to the energy of this person. I do want to see if I see a future with you guys or what the future is going to hold for you guys, but I feel like I'm venturing outside of my normal reading, so I might actually make this an extended. I'll leave the link for that down below, but for now, let me go ahead and look at the oracle cards that I've chosen for you. Wow. Mm-hmm. Look, guys, the cards that I've chosen are right on target for you, or not chosen, but that I shuffled and pulled for you. So first card here, we have Panther Spirit, Reclaim Your Power, and then Porcupine Spirit, Time for a beginner mind. Right away, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is intensity and then there's, there's defensiveness. Very interesting because someone here I feel, and I feel like this is you, eyes on the prize. You know exactly what you want. You are standing in your power. You figured out how to ask for what it is that you rightfully deserve. And I feel like somehow in you asking for your needs to be met or for the relationship to be more reciprocated and balanced, this has created the other person being defensive. And that's what's going to make them look back on this relationship and look back on the situation and be like, why did I react this way? Why couldn't I just hear what they were saying? Even if they you felt even if they felt like you were asking too much of them, there's this dread and remorse on not being able to be more understanding and receptive to the perspective that is that you're coming from. And this is something that I feel like is gonna haunt them. Let me look at the next cards. Wow. We have spring, new growth, and beach healing and balance. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can. But spring, new growth, and then beach, healing, and balance. This is exactly what it is that I'm saying. This feels like in order to bring balance into this relationship, into the situation, I, I feel like it's kind of good that you take a step back. It's kind of good that you take a retreat away from this situation. Again, I don't feel... Even with the new growth card here, I don't feel like this is necessarily the end of this relationship. I feel like there's a circling back. Just the fact that this person is almost peering and spying in or you're spying on them shows that there's some type of connection that still lingers and lives on between the two of you. It's just a matter of what happens after you've taken this pause. What happens after you've readjusted and reevaluated. I do get a sense that this person that you're referring to is uncomfortable with the break that is that you're doing for your own mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. I don't feel like if they could have their way, I feel like they would want you to operate in the way that they want you to, but th you doing that is literally defying your own needs, your own real needs for a healthy you I, and I just I'm sorry to be partial but I don't feel like you're asking for too much you're just asking too much from this person if that we've heard that quote many times but this is definitely one of those situations where that message applies even disconnecting from this person temporarily or through giving space or taking a break taking a pause 
in this relationship feels like it'll be beneficial and from that something new will grow I'm, I, I will definitely explore this relationship in an extended and I'll link that down below next card we have here is hummingbird spirit joy so this I genuinely love this card because to me to me I feel like this is going to be the joy that is that you feel when you feel this person circling back or just doesn't leave too far away. And let me explain why I feel this way because some of you guys are going to be like, how did you get that from that? Number one, I'm feeling it as I'm pulling these cards. Ace of Pentacles here is also showing up, showing that there's something here to grow from this future. I just feel like you guys have come to a point where there's a necessary battle between expectations and energies and growth that needs to clearly happen. With the hummingbird spirit, even though you may not necessarily feel a sense of joy from this relationship and this situation right now, I do feel like inevitably you're gonna feel that spring energy again because hummingbirds always, to me, represent the bird that goes back to, the birds that find their way back to the flowers in order to receive nectar. Now, the nectar, especially with the Empress card, can represent something very specific. You know what I mean by that? But I don't want to necessarily pin it into just that energy. I feel like it's the sweetness of what this relationship offers, not only you, but also to this other person. So it's really tempting and hard to say no to you. I feel like they're going to try to find a way to make the situation work. I'm hoping though that it's them working on themselves while you guys are taking some time away or just disarmoring. There's something about being defensive and on guard and not wanting to be vulnerable or I don't know. That's the that's the vibe that I'm getting off of this person. So the next few cards here we have sunflower spirit or sunflower card, smile and become the true you. It's interesting because with this card, Become the True You, I actually feel like this is going to reflect them actually speaking their truth and getting a little vulnerable, which I genuinely feel is actually what it is that you asked of them is to heal themselves so that that healing that they're doing on themselves can be a positive influence on you guys relationship I don't I feel like you might have and cut the ties in this connection because it felt like you were doing all the work or you're doing all the emotional labor and now this is why your angels and your guides are like mm -mm. you know even though it's difficult for you you were called to give some space in the situation at least that's what I'm seeing if you pull this card now with the become the true you and smile card I feel like the distance that is being that is experienced right now is helping this person believe it or not because their back is against the wall into shaping up to being the person who it is that they are meant to be a person who reflects a higher vibration and actually the intention that it is that they want and see for themselves in the outcome because that's something that is that i am seeing i know that when we said with the hummingbird spirit with joy card here in the empress that sometimes it can represent nectar if you know what i mean I do want to say, and please don't get mad at me, but, and this is not going to be for everyone, but if this person approaches you and you know that they're physically attracted to you and that's always kind of been the energy of this relationship, but that's not the exclusive energy of this relationship, don't discount them just because they're very attracted to you and that they lead with that. I don't know why I want to say that because that's actually anti what it is that I feel like BFF just would say. Like when I do readings for people, I always say there's spiritual Jess and the intuitive Jess that can see things from all these different perspectives. And then there's BFF Jess that wants to fight the person that broke your heart. Or we'll be like, that's not what I would say, <laughs> but this is what I'm being called to tell you. So I have to lean back into spiritual Jess. So I want to say that BFF Jess wants to tell you that, that that if this person starts texting you and they're trying to come in with humor or with desire for you or craving physical or they can't get their hands off of you next time they see you, I want to tell them 
block them. <laughs> I want to tell you to block them. But spiritual, so just being totally transparent with you, but spiritual Jess, Jess who's reading the tarot cards, kind of sees that they can't help themselves and that they're physically attracted to you, they're drawn to you, and that's why it's hard for them. And that somehow you saying yes to intimacy with them or show, expressing attraction towards them makes them feel like they're worth it in some way. And I don't shoot the messenger again. As soon as I said that, BFF Jess wanted to come and swing it again. Back to spirituality, Jess. High vibrational, Jess. <laughs> the Jess that I strive to be every day. She is saying that still keep your standards high, but do not be a overly offended or lose hope if this person is very attracted to you because again and if they lead in that because there's some sort of immaturity or insecurity or insufficiency that probably has to do with your feminine pulchritude you know your essence your je ne sais quoi so it is what it is oh look at this the next card that we have here is controversy paradox so this might reflect the differences between you and them or this might literally sum up the entirety of you guys' relationship. I also want to tell you that one thing I know about the tobacco plant is that it attracts a lot of insects that eat away at it. And I just want to tell you that I feel like outside of the word controversy and paradox showing up in your reading, I get a strong sense that the reason why you separated from this connection is that it felt like this person took advantage of your kindness, took advantage advantage of your willingness to listen, to be a helping hand, to be a support, to be a lover, and, and a good lover at that, not just physical intimacy, but even just emotional support and being there for them and someone that they can lean on. So I think this is one of the reasons why you were called to separate yourself from that, from that energy because it wasn't something that was healthy for you in the long haul. I do want to tell you that, again, I keep getting the strong sense that there's some, even with this panther card showing up, I feel like there's this strong um, message about this person kind of revisiting or re-entering your life or just kind of showing, as soon as their defenses go down, them showing you how much they genuinely care about you. And right now, they don't know how to fix this, but I do sense that there's some level of focus when the ego deflates a little bit and things even out where they're going to try to figure out a solution because I feel this person is naturally being drawn back to you. I do. So the card here that I have for you is actually Rose Quartz, which is interesting because this card that you chose represents love, connection, unity and romance and again I feel like this is really emphasizing the underlining energy of this relationship believe it or not even though it's under layers of desire and dysfunction and miscommunication I also feel like the rose quartz is a reflection of the love and the softness and the tenderness that is that you're giving to yourself now and the season in your life when it comes to this relationship okay so I'm going to move on to the extended portion of this reading. Um, thank you guys who, who definitely pulled this message. Basically, in the extended reading portion of this message, I'll link it down below. But we're going to dive into what exactly is going to happen when you guys come back together or the timing of this and how this is going to, how and when this is going to happen and also this person's intentions because I also need to know for you. I will link that portion down below, but for those that are going to be moving on, thank you again so much for tuning into this message, clicking this video. Please give it a thumbs up because it does help me grow my YouTube channel and it, sh it literally allows me the space to continue to be able to do these type of readings for you guys. And if you're moving on, then thank you guys so much for even spending your time with me and I hope our paths align. If you chose pile number two, this is your reading. What are their feelings for you? Now, I didn't say this in the very beginning of this reading, 
but I'm telling you now, I definitely feel very called to work with Zombie Tarot because there's something about this deck that to me really describes and accurately reflects the separation and the, and the differences between two different people, their intentions, the energy that, that, that they bring to each other and to the relationship. So having said that, angels and guides from the highest lights of the universe, I ask that you connect with the viewer and I in the tarot in order to receive insight and clarity in order to deliver messages to help me to receive insight and clarity into how this person feels about those that chose this pile. I, for some reason, I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting like a, like I, I generally feel like kind of like sitting back and I feel a separation and I feel I, the word is actually lethargic. Like, I don't feel... This is totally different energy that I'm picking up than the first pile. How does this person feel? I... I... I get a sense of worry, but I'm getting it more from not the person that you're inquiring into, but more from the person who's asking the question. So I think that that would be you. The cards that came up just now, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Six of Swords. Let me show them to you so that you can see what it is I'm looking at. I don't know why. I need to stop saying that. The feeling that it is that I'm getting is someone who is pulling themselves back into themselves. And very similar to the Seven of Pentacles, kind of assessing the relationship, the situation. I feel like they don't have an answer or they may not know how they feel right now. I feel like they actually have a lot of things going on outside of this relationship that is clouding how it is that they feel for you and I don't feel like the way that they feel for you is a definitive clear cut answer. Does that make sense? I feel like they have a lot of stress and changes and things that just require their full undivided attention and they, they deal mostly with that so they're not thinking about how they feel about you. Like it doesn't take center stage. So I feel like the way that they've been feeling lately is em dis disconnected or distracted. I think that if there's, this person might feel a little over overwhelmed by life. If there's still love in this relationship, <sighs> yeah. The Emperor, Nine of Wands reverse, Eight of Pentacles reverse to the High Priestess. I just think that they're not f trying to face feelings. I don't think that it's necessarily just you. I think it's life. It's just life. Um, I The word that it is I'm getting is avoidant, like they're avoiding. I feel like they're doing, they're focusing on, okay, let's try to, Ace of Wands, yeah, there's just Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, Four of Cups Reverse, Five of Cups Reverse. I, I hate to say this, but this feels like someone who gives like leftovers, like emotional leftovers and scraps. What has this person's attention? Ace of Pentacles, it could be work, money, Two of Swords. That's what I'm saying. I can't make this up. Two of Swords. This person's lately has just been really disconnected. This kind of reminds me, but I'm not saying this 100%. This reminds me of someone who might be under the influence of things, whether it be drugs or alcohol or overworked, overwhelmed, 
or trying to launch something, I'm not saying that they are under the influence of drugs or and it's just something is covering their mind so they're not attached to their feelings. So to ask how they're feeling about a relationship or about anything right now is a difficult thing to ask. They feel like I almost want to take a step back and ask an, an overarching energy of like how do they feel in general. Yeah, they're just trying to like status quo maintain temperance card. Figure things out. They want like some sort of peace. It's like straddling the middle road, not feeling any type of way. Why? Yeah, they're, they might be developing something here. Working on something. They might have a business. They might have a lot of projects. They might have something that's just really taking all of them, consuming all of them. It could, I don't know why I'm just hearing like children. How do you feel in the situation? Let's ask that. Okay. You have eight of wands, knight of wands, five of swords, four of swords. Let me show you. This person is at emotional capacity. I, 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 I don't, if I had to, you guys know, I just can't lie and fluff. I just, if I had to put any feeling towards this, it's like, is ambivalent a word? Like, come see, come saw, like, yeah, eh. <laughs> Like, like, do you love it? Do you hate it? Meh, it works. Like, eh, eh. I don't know another way to say this. And then, in, uh, you though it's like five of swords four of swords eight of wands knight of wands there's passion there's fire let's go and you're being forced to be still and it five of swords is the opposite of four of swords not opposite but it's just literally just so different energy and any type of movement or action that you take towards this person it almost feels like it sets you back and you know that and you just need to sit down and chill and just wait why I think because this person literally has their hands full. I think you know this. Or they're just completely separated from you. Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's something external that is pulling their attention elsewhere. Whether, whether it be a person, whether it be a job, whether it be something. Yep, Two of Swords. They're blocked off. Magician. They're in the lab. They're working. They're doing what they do. They're focusing on what has their attention. Two of Cups is could be a relationship it easily could be third party another another relationship or it could represent represent making things work in alignment and harmony yeah four of wands this could be an, another i hate to take it so drastic but this could be a whole nother family like are you guys together Why is there such an ambivalent, is that the right word? Let me look at this definition of ambivalent. 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 Yeah. Having mixed feelings or contradictory ideas about someone or something. Some lover, some hater, or few are ambivalent about her. Yeah. There's like this straddling of the middle ground of, eh. It's like, let me look at your oracle cards. Yeah, there's this need right now. We have armadillo spirit and then mouse spirit tend to the small things and set healthy boundaries. With the armadillo spirit, 
showing up, set healthy boundaries. I feel like this is for both of you. There's a reason why this person is disconnected, probably because they're tending to the small things. I just don't want you to be the small thing in their life. You know what I mean? Some people have mice as pets and some people try to get rid of them because they're pests. Which one of those do you fall in this person's life? And that's a very tough question to ask right now. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's an easy question to ask and you know this already. There's this message here even about am I a pest or am I a pet? Or like am I valued or am I a nuisance? And that's where the healthy boundaries energy comes through where you ask yourself, why am I here? Like, why am I in this relationship? Why am I, especially with the five of swords showing up. So let's say best case scenario, you're in a relationship where you're generally happy and this person is so focused on their external goals and their career and their job or a second child from another marriage, but they're definitely committed to you. Just the fact that the Five of Swords was showing up right next to the Four of Swords and then the Eight of Wands and I believe the Knight of Wands, something similar to that, it shows me that you're not necessarily respecting this person's need to put their attention elsewhere. So instead of putting all of your energy into what someone else thinks and feels about you, respect them for the time and the space and the distance that they need right now at this stage in their life and cleanse yourself so that you're not so enmeshed in what they're doing and how they feel, even though I know that that's the title of this video. This is sometimes where I find it complex to do these type of readings because I feel so torn. Now, the next few cards you have are Summer, Bring to Fruition, and Trust Your Efforts, Tulip. I think what stands out to me the most is the color red, and I never noticed that the summer here represents tomatoes. Like, how did I not know? I use this deck all the time. How did I not see that those are tomatoes? It's cherry tomatoes, too. I love cherry tomatoes. This is reminding me of root chakra energy when we are stuck in survival mode or when we're so, like, needing to make something happen that it's almost detrimental to our overall well-being. It's creating stress and tension. And either this is the energy of your person or this is the energy that you're embodying in this relationship right now at this moment in time, which is a little alarming just because it's showing that there needs to be some balance, especially with the temperance card actually showing up, describing this person's feelings. They may feel like you need to balance out your life, your feelings, your expectations of them or your feelings for them or in the situation. I don't know. The next card we have here is Happiness, Bluebird Spirit. So this is asking you that whatever the outcome is right now, can you prioritize your own happiness and that go to the places. If you're really asking yourself, if you're one of the people who pulled this reading and you're just like, why am I in this relationship? Like, why am I here? Not because you love them, but like, why are you here? Like, what... And that could be a tough question because that means that you might need to A, lean into unconditional love and, ex and accept the circumstances as is, or B, maybe see that this is not bringing you happiness and that it's healthy for you to move away for your own happiness and your own well-being and to cleanse your energy and to cleanse your space to restore balance here. Yeah. Whoa! Sorry. I didn't mean to be so loud. Next few cards, balance, work, rest, and play, and emotional healing. That is wild. So this is exactly what I'm saying. This person may be so consumed in their work and their obligations and their life that they don't have a lot of emotions left to give anywhere else. Or you may be needing to do this within your own life. Or maybe this is a connection that has been This person might have emotionally moved on or emotionally separated and there's some balance here that needs to happen and there's some purging for you to experience or for them to experience or maybe that's what they're working through so maybe they're so overwhelmed by pain or trauma or an experience that it's hard for them to feel anything other than numbness right now because that's essentially what is it I'm getting like a sense of 
numbness or complete disconnection. The next card here we have is Stinking Cedar, Vulnerability and Threat. So that right there is a message all by itself and it kind of confirms what it is that I just said. And the last card here is Celestite, which is actually the card of clarity and emotional cleansing and transparency and even vulnerability and empathetic energy, being totally empathetic to the emotional needs of someone else. Hmm. I can do an extended reading about this if you guys would like. I did it for the first pile, so I kind of feel like it would be good to do it for the second. In the extending, extended reading, if this is something that you're open towards, I'm going to look into the future of this relationship. I'm going to ask for advice to help you get to the highest outcome for the future for this relationship and any additional messages that spirit wants to give to you so i'll link the extended message down below for everyone else thank you so much for clicking on this video for picking this card pile and i will definitely hopefully see you in my next video please give this video a thumbs up because it helps me to be able to do messages like this for you in the future If you chose the third message, this is your reading. Whew. How do they feel for you? How do they feel for you? What are the feelings? What is the energy? What is the vibe? The word that I just heard just now, giddy. Um, also, I want to say this person has a lot of energy. They're either adventurous, athletic, competitive. As I said that, we have five of swords, five of wands. This person has is very competitive. Very competitive. This person is considered a leader, an advocate, a fire starter. This person is ambitious. The next card to jump out, ace of wands. Very, very ambitious. I don't know why I heard that they are looking for an equal partner and they may not necessarily have found that. But they see that within you. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. They really, how do they feel about you? They really want to make this work. They really want to make this work. They feel like this is, it's not even about making this work. This is about, this is worth my effort. This is worth my energy. I also, it's funny because the Four of Cups showed up, but I actually see this as the card of contentment. I know that sometimes in Terra Land, we think that Four of Cups is, is like a bad card, but I taught this all the time in Sacred Circle Tarot School that it reflects overall energy and not just these superficial, oh, this card of boredom or something is being offered to you. Why aren't you accepting it and why aren't you appreciative of it? It's just, it's not that superficial. Tarot is very, very deep. I'm, very, I'm really much thinking about opening up Sacred Circle Tarot School so that I can reveal to you guys you know, just how deep tarot goes if you are not aware already because there's a lot of like superficial explanations out there. But having said that, Four of Cups showing up is not the card of superficiality when it comes to this reading. It feels like I, I, I want this. I choose this. I do not want to go elsewhere and look anywhere else. In fact, the search ends here. The world card. The world card is here. This represents that I, if I've searched the whole world, I've seen everything and this is what it is that I want. I want the Queen of Wands. And if this is not you, the Queen of Wands, that's showing up here, this is their energy. They are, like I said, very athletic, very charismatic, very ambitious. They have their own life and in all of this, they want to build with you. And I think that's so beautiful. There's something to be said about someone who has a very whole life and when they find something that they think is worth investing in, they make that their number one priority and they build with that person. It's not like they're empty and aching and I mean, of course, if they're single and they're looking for love, 
you want that companion, but you're not going to settle. This person, when they saw you, they knew that they weren't settling when they, when they met you. And that brings them so much happiness. I also feel like with the Sun card, you're like, I don't want to say their whole world, but you're a big... Maybe that you are their whole world. Maybe they, they, you just light their whole world up. You're just the sun to their world. You really light them up. And you're, they see strength within you. They see life within you and vitality and a future. This is a very, very positive card. For some of you guys, they're thinking about marriage. Page of Swords, Two of Cups, Four of Wands. They have been thinking about marriage. If if this is not what they're trying to build towards, they're trying to maintain marriage and happiness and figure, I don't want to say figure things out, but make this the best relationship and possible outcome through thick and through thin. I also get a strong sense that they're not expecting things to be positive all the time. They want still to bring life and make you happy even through the gritty times. This is someone who is really wanting to nurture this relationship, especially with the Queen of Wands showing up. It's just very nurturing of the energy of the relationship. And I feel like when there's any type of dis discord or dysfunction or just things when that when you have to figure it out with a relationship just because we're human beings and we don't all have it all together all the time this person is a willing participant and trying to make it work they have what it takes and they want to demonstrate that to you if they haven't already i'm i was just trying to see i'm i'm a, a problem i look for problems naturally virgo so I'm looking to see if there's an issue with this relationship at all that I can point out. And I don't necessarily see it. I feel like this person just... <sighs> I was going to say that like maybe they can be a little too content. You know, maybe like if someone knows that you're the person, sometimes they don't necessarily feel like they have to put in any more effort and energy. But I think that if you were to articulate yourself, they would rally and find a way to figure it out so that you would never feel un underappreciated ever again or they will no one's perfect but i think that they would try to figure it out the ten of wands i'm sorry ten of swords is here and i just want to ask what this is for you ten of wands oh that's kind of funny that i said that um because remember I said Ten of Wands, oop, I mean Ten of Swords, but then the next card to jump out was actually the Ten of Wands. So what is ending Ten of Wands energy? We also have Emperor, Knight of Cups, the Fool card, Knight of Wands. I think what they're really wanting to end is just like stress and pressure and burdens of life. This might actually be external things, things that fall on their shoulders because they feel like it impacts you guys' relationship and this new beginning or fresh start or love and connection and romance in your life. They just don't. If they had their way, they could just go forward and like not look back. Some of them, their work is everything. The Emperor card, their expectations, their responsibilities feel a little heavy on them. They, with the Fool card, they almost, I just feel like with the Fool card and the Ten of Swords, this is almost like they wish they could just like quit or not do this anymore or walk away from it and just get a fresh start with you. I don't know if this is work or life or obligation or duty or whatever, but I just feel like that's the only thing that's kind of stopping them. Because that's that they feel like that would be an opportunity for them to give you their whole heart and just literally ride the wave and just go. You have Knight of Cups and Nine of Wands. I mean, this card, this pile is so like, let's go. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Let's look at the Oracle cards here. Very, very attractive cards here. This energy is very, very attractive. So, 
first cards here we have chameleon spirit act as if and dragonfly spirit truth transcends illusion interesting truth transcends illusion even with act as if card i see this as someone in this relationship There might be a disconnection here, just a little bit. It might actually not be on their end. It might be on your end. They might feel like you might not necessarily love them in the same way that they love you. Or that there's parts of you that they have, haven't have uncovered yet. Or they haven't figured out. Or they can't pinpoint. So there's a little sense of like almost, I don't want to say mirroring, but they're kind of picking up on the energy that you're kind of giving off and it kind of it doesn't complicate things because I don't see this person backing away I just feel like sometimes they feel like they're touching the tip of you that sounds weird but like they're not necessarily getting the whole of you you may actually have some type of hesitations here and as I said that we have queen of cups oh this energy shifted we have queen of cups reverse and eight of cups upright Three of Wands, King of Pentacles. So let me be honest with you. You might have a little bit of a wandering eye even though you're not going anywhere. Or you might be, I don't say exploring your options, but you might be like committed, but eyes kind of, and maybe they can sense that. And it might be because you might not know if you're being emotionally satisfied within this relationship. Or it could be an, an attraction thing. Let's look at the rest of your oracle cards. The next few cards here we have... Oh, did I not just say this? I cannot make this up. Ivy, Stretch, and Explore. Yeah. Clouds, signs, and visions be a spiritual warrior. Spiritual warrior. So it's funny. I don't know if I necessarily see this person's feelings towards you diminishing or being cloudy in any way. If anything, I think that you might be going through something that makes you, that might be not triggering you, but making you, I don't want to say uneasy with settling down, but maybe or taking the next steps or even immersing yourself in this relationship. There might be something within you that is a little unsettled and it might be stuff from your past. And that's why this person, I think, is still. And that's why I think you guys are still committed to each other and not going anywhere, because there's something here that is clearly worth investing in and loving. And but at the same time, there might be like. Certain signs, not that this isn't the right thing, but cer certain signs pointing you to, you have to figure out why. <clears throat> you have to figure out why this is not something that you are fully attracted to or emotionally inter engaged in. Does that make sense? It's like for your own healing, kind of defrost the part of you that is locked off from giving your full self to this relationship. Why are you, if you know this is a great person, is it that this isn't your person or is it just that when something is healthy and good and right that you might not, not necessarily be fully attracted to that or stay within that? You're kind of expecting something to like chaos or something to spark and that just happens the next cards we have are letting go interesting and i think that this is not necessarily the relationship letting go of the, the relationship i think it's letting go of the parts of you of you so do you notice how it's like it's their feelings for you aren't the question it's almost like your feelings for them are the question maybe asking the why there's certain parts of you that are will not 
really allow yourself to fully give all of yourself to a relationship? What part of you is still holding on? Let's look by. Wow, guys. Yeah. Cleanse your energy and stand by your commitment. So this is so funny because this is literally saying that I don't see you leaving this relationship. I think that you are, for the most part, happy. I think that you need to cleanse. Sorry, darling. My camera cut off, which is so weird, but it is what it is. So... With this, I, I don't necessarily get a strong sense of doubting or hesitations coming from this person. I more see this as letting go of anything that is stopping you from being totally available and emotionally receptive to a great love. For lack of a better word, I think that that's really... Yeah, let's look at the next card. Yeah, we have Azalea and Temperance and Calm. So there might be something within you right now that is maybe feeling a little insecure or self-doubty or just doubtful or unfulfilled in this relationship. And I feel like for now, follow your own energy here, follow your own vibes, your own feelings. But I think that for now, it's a good thing to kind of maintain some level of peace while you find a way to balance the energies within you that are blocking you from being totally open and receptive to again like a great love and temperance shown up in this card but just temperance in general is about finding a way to make things work through thick and through thin and that is going to look unique for you that's going to be unique for you um i offered extended readings in the last two piles. I'm going to do the same thing for you. I think in the extended, I'm going to ask about your own healing and helping to unlock any blockages towards love, especially with cleanse your energy right now and stretch and stretch and explore showing up and spiritual warrior showing up. Yeah. I'm also going to ask about the future of this relationship. But before I let you go, I do want to read to you this last card. I've actually never seen this card before, so I'm going to read to you from the book. It's this Spessartine Garnet. Don't, I definitely butchered that one. So, yeah, charm and charisma, sh shining and sparkling, being a brilliant beacon of confidence that inspires others. It says, when it comes to relationships, though, you're a unique being with a light only you can emit. Do you think you have to work harder to make people like you? What if your soulmate is out there waiting for you to stop trying so hard and just be your glorious, amazing, brilliant self? What if your soulmate is waiting for your beacon to send out the message, I am here and ready for a partner to shine with me? I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm being BFF Jess and not spiritual Jess right now. Today is a good day to recognize all that is attractive in you and stop trying to hide it out of some sort of fear that others might not be comfortable seeing you in your full glory. Shine brightly today. That might have actually been it. So I think that's what the extended message is actually going to be, be about. It's going to be about letting go of any type of obstacles and barriers that are preventing you from allowing great love in. I also feel like with these cards, there's this feeling of coming into connection and alignment within yourself. Not, of course, it will benefit this relationship, this person that's on your mind, but I definitely see this more importantly kind of benefiting you first and foremost. So for those of you guys that are going to be moving on from this reading, thank you so much for allowing me to shuffle and pull for you. For those that are going to be joining me in the extended, I'm going to meet you down below. Either way, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps my video, um, it helps me to be able to make videos like this, number one. And number two, it helps my YouTube channel and it shows me that you appreciate, you know, the energy that I'm putting into my YouTube channel and into you right now. <laughs>